Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is a reading for the 14th of November 2020 and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense to you, you're not feeling quite well with it, that's okay. It's a general reading, so just leave it there onto the side. If ever you, um, you can come back another time, maybe it'll resonate better with you, or just leave it for somebody else. If ever you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading, you're in search of answers in your life, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, assist you, to give you the uh, different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find your answer together. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. This reading is meant to be about love, love for you, okay? Uh, I would like you to remember no matter where you are in life, sometimes we're on the high, sometimes we're in the middle, sometimes we're at the rock bottom. Always remember, trust the process of life, the journey of life, and know that you are held into the heart of divine love. Please do remember that at all times. Um, that being said, this is really messages from the universe who are coming to give you miraculous love. So they're coming to give you some guidance of love, some messages of love to say, you know what? You can do it. You're able. You have the capacities. Go for it. When nobody else will tell you, universe will. So let's begin this reading. This here is for the beautiful sign of Leo. So I'm going to turn these cards over and we're going to begin. I have three messages from the universe for you. I'm relating a lot with animals. The cards I'm using today are with animals. So universe is going to be speaking through them. I bow to you. And this one here, journey to the miraculous. And we have Melody of Thought. So let's begin with I bow to you, and this is shifting paradigms. Now, this bison bows to you because it knows how truly powerful you are. There is no mistake in that you are an important person who is more of a trailblazer than you actually realized. There are, you are here to make the world a better place to live and to work in by shifting current paradigms. Although the individual achievements are important, it is better to involve others. Embrace diversity. The more ideas, the better. Everyone has something unique to offer, and we do each have to find our own and unique way. But we are together into that whole process. Collectively, we can take back our power and create heaven on earth. The bobcat here is very patient and wants you to be the same. This is the time in your life to break out of the old routines and to be more flexible. The praying mantis takes you to deep into the silent place where you can access where why you are here. When you quiet down and you clear out any unnecessary distractions, great insights are going to be revealed to you. Your destiny is not about chasing material things. It's about sharing your valuable talents your wisdom, your knowledge with everyone, and especially with the younger people. The skyscrapers are a sign of confidence and high ideals. For you, they represent your power and your ability to rise above any situation that limits you. Love is the official language of the clouds, and you need to trust your heart, and you need to believe. You are part of a greater consciousness, and you are here to help bring heaven to earth. What a beautiful message coming from the universe for you. Now we're going to move on over to the following message with these little, uh, this little kitty cat here. Uh, okay, we are in with the journey to the miraculous. New opportunities are awaiting for you. The sensitive possum is looking right at you, vying for your attention. It wants you to notice that regardless of what happened in the past, things may actually be better than they seem. Your talents will be noticed by others, some in position of authority. The blue rose in the possum's mirror lets you know that miracles are happening. But miracles are not an event. They are a state of mind. 
Badger symbolism is about following your dreams and never giving up. Although it's important to be open to what others say, it is more important to listen to your own intuition and to do it your way. The cat recommends staying grounded and being in the present moment. Don't let your mind wander to the past or future. It is in the here and the now that you can make things happen. Cat also advises you to get plenty of rest. Lack of sleep is going to disempower you. When you are sleep deprived, your healing abilities, your alertness and your cognitive performances are decreasing. You shift into another brain waves that are just, you know, they're fine to be in when you want to slow down and you want to relax, but not when you want to get things done and you have a lot to get done. So ladybugs and the ants, they deliver faith, good luck and the discipline that you need to succeed. You are here on earth at this moment to help bring loving change, step into the revolving doors and exit into a world of new possibilities, of love, of feeling a part of something wonderful. Your dreams are awaiting you. Discipline and patience will help you stick to your flight plan and arrive at your destination. And your destination is clearly the stars. You are always on the right place at the right time. Now we're going to move over to the melody of the thought, which is about finding your passion. Now, finding your passion. Loud and negative thoughts often guide us more than the quiet, positive ones. Which do you listen to? Do you tap into the symphony of vibrations that are harmonious and loving and turn off the volume on those that are not? Connect with the angelic realm and listen to its enchanting messages. They contain confident, optimistic, and balanced guides, guidance. You need only to change the frequency that you are tuned into so that you can hear them loud and you can hear them clear. The two suns, their source of energy, they strengthen and support your mission here. At this time, it is important that you surround yourself with beauty. Beauty provides strength joy and balance and the frequencies that are given off by beautiful things act as a shield and protect you from what which you are throwing off your course when you expose yourself to beauty your body responds to relaxing the beauty that I'm talking about can take the form of art music dance architecture garden birds water mountains and so on the new enumeration could continue when you find yourself needing in to rejuvenate treat yourself to a dose of beauty although you have been enduring a great deal like the fairy tale your life has a happy ending and maybe it is not ending you maybe it is not the ending that you were hoping for but it is what it is indeed and you will bond with someone or something that will bring you joy and that will bring you love and this can be a close friend it could be a lover even an animal like the horse you need you know your freedom but too much of it can be lonely can be shallow connect with something greater than yourself listen to its unique and captivating message look at your life are you happy with the direction in which you are headed how can you enhance your and utilize your talents what would make you happiest you may not realize it but you are a strong and forceful person and you are here to live your passion and when you find it you are hearing the guidance of your higher self and you are working for the highest and best good you need to allow it to happen you need to tap into that symphony of vibrations that are harmonious and loving and turn off the volume of all of those who are not live your passion and remind what I remember what I said at the beginning trust that you are loved you are loved by the divine love by the universe and everyone above have yourself a beautiful day thank you for being there if you do have any questions you can contact me please don't forget to subscribe thank you for listening I will see you tomorrow with another reading.